Good morning everyone and welcome to IR Photo Tours and today we're going to be speaking and talking about this multicoloured LED light. Lovely old job. <laughs> So before we start, can I ask you all very kindly, if you like this channel, please do subscribe down there and hit that bell notification. Thank you very much indeed. It helps this channel no end. Um, I'd just like to um, point out one little thing from the last video, which was yesterday's video, that it was about um, using the uh, dropping filters for your uh, EOS R and R5 and R6. Now, can I just say and reiterate, thank you very much to um, a young gentleman who commented and did pick up on this. His name is Stephen, Stephen Shunk, if I pronounced that correctly. Thank you very much, Guy. The issue is um, you cannot use an RF 800mm on the adapter of the uh, the drop-in filter adapter it is only designed for ef lenses sadly um, a big mistake on my part i do apologize it must be my age why i didn't think of that in the first place i really don't know um, i feel a bit bit annoyed at myself really for for not picking up on that um, i should know, know better so anyway thank you Stephen, I do appreciate these comments very much. I know, I realise I'm giving out information to all you guys out there. So apologies. So let's move on. Let's talk about something I do know about. Ish. Now, it's a new product from Aperture. Now, Aperture um, has got this new light. It's called the MC Any Colour, Any Time. And it's a multicolour LCD light. And it's this one here, and this one here is amazing. And also that one behind me. So you can see the blue blue light behind me, just giving a bit of an ambient light to it. And also this side light on my face here. So that one there is just giving me a little bit of light on the side face here. I am using another light and it's a big, massive circular um, light, which actually you can see reflecting in my, uh, PlayStation screen over there um, and uh, yeah that's the the key light for me so that's a dimmable key light for me um, which I use in the studio here so lights wise it's really important I think to get your lighting right um, I'm also using one light on top of this camera here which I shall show you here let's have a look so there you go there's that there's that light okay that light there is just giving a little bit of catchment light in my eye. And what that does is just give a little bit of life to your eyes. Now, if you're wearing a hat like I am, then that catchment will hit the light. But because I want to, have, <laughs> I want to hide my gray hair <laughs> and I haven't cut it recently, uh, then I wear a hat. And the hat covers my, the hat will cover the key light. Uh, or the or the catchment in the eyes should i say so um if you're wearing a hat and you like wearing hats then uh, probably use a light just to give a little bit of um uh, life to your eyes in the mornings okay so what do you get in this lovely box i take it is the right way up yes it is um so this box here okay is it's the um Aperture MC, um, any color, any time, multi-color LED light. And that is one awesome light. So what do you get in this light? Let's have a look. In the box, we have the Aperture light itself. There you go. So that is the Aperture light. And the nice thing is it has magnetic strips on the back there 
magnetic strips right on the back there so you can actually attach this to anything metal which is quite handy um, it also has um, your functions here your on off switch which is on the side there I don't know where we can see that which is on the side here you have a wheel which is also um, not just a, a, a wheel to toggle the menus it's also a, a press button um, as well so you can go through the functions and so when you switch it on that's what you get so at the moment it's in blue but you can change it on here change all the functions on here so on at the moment I'm on hue and we go to saturation we can keep keep your finger in and then it comes up with other um, other scenarios as well like that and then you can scroll to where you need to scroll okay BT is uh, to connect your Bluetooth um, to your, to your uh, app on your phone and then you can scroll to CC which is and press it again that is your Kelvin setting so once you're on your Kelvin setting there for example now we can see that and you can scroll up and down on your Kelvin a warmer light or a cooler light and it's pretty cool really it's a really good light um, so you can get exactly what you need the coolest light is 6500 kelvin and it will go all the way down 3200 kelvin okay so that's warm so you've got a nice warm light so you're going all the way up to from warm to very cool hope you can see that and that is up to 6500 kelvin on a cool setting Let's see what else is in the bag so let's turn that off for a second and let's see what else is in the bag so you've got the light itself and there's a lot of settings on there so you get this handy little pouch as well and in the pouch quite quite a chunky pouch um, it has a, a piece on the back there that you can clip to your belt or clip to your clip to anything really um, anything you like so it's one of those carabiner type things and in the bag itself you get a nice fat diffuser and that actually goes over the top of the the light itself now you can see the difference in size there there is a piece a rim around inside there so don't so don't think that you can squash it right in because uh, you can't really um, well you can but it's not ideal so you just want to put this diffuser over the top until it's clipped in nicely like like so let's see if we can focus on it so it's like so so that all that edge rim is seated nicely around the light itself and that is the diffuser now with the diffuser on that actually does make a huge difference it really does it makes a real nice difference now that that light one foot away again that is a really nice quite really nice soft light actually 3m velcro strips so these velcro strips you can put on on the uh, light itself not that i don't think i will to be honest it's magnetic so anything metal you can put that light on which is very handy and you also get your usb 3 usb 3 um charger and that does charge quite rapidly actually it's quite a good charger on that um, and that is and apart from your instructions in the bottom that, that is your lot this light can be put on an app so there's your app okay so that's your app i'm going to show you how to use this app by the way oh and by the way just a note i am actually filming on the canon EOS R today which is pretty amazing that is my key camera that I'm using today and as you can see what a beautiful image that EOS R really produces now I am actually using a Sigma 24 millimeter f1.4 on that which is a beautiful lens it really picks up the blur in the background emphasizes the the sharpness on me hopefully and uh, the eye tracking is picking up my eye as well with the EOS R and on the other camera the other camera is the M6 Mark II and that is another fantastic camera now I am filming in 4k by the way so just to give you a note there 
So anyway, talking about this light, we're going to look to this camera now because that's the, that's the camera with the light in look. And also that one behind me is another light there. So we're going to talk between the two cameras. God, getting flash here, aren't I, with my vlogs? It'll all go pear-shaped in a minute, I promise you. Right guys, okay, so this is it. So this is the um, Sidus Link app. Uh, I'll put a link down below, funnily enough, for this app. Um, it is in your uh, Play Store apps if you're using Android as I am. Um, just type in Sidus, S-I-D-U-S Link. It's Sidus Link, that's what it's called. So that's S-I-D-U-S. I'm gonna put a link down below anyway and, and, and type it down below for you guys um, because my pronunciation might not come across very clear. You connect your lights via Bluetooth to your app and the way to do that is literally click on to, I'm gonna show you now, hold it down and you'll come up with that menu there okay i hope you can see that press to bt and then you click bt and then you click again for establishing a link between your light and your app now i'm not going to do it because i've already done it so that's what you do to establish a link between your light and your app once you're on your app and you've registered because you will have to register first it is a bit of a pain because um, they do ask you lots and lots of questions but you can skip a huge amount of that information anyway so um, which i have done uh, you just put your key information in um, um, to register that's all on scene one here on um, this on the app and what we do we're gonna we've already we've already basically connected our lights both lights that one behind me and that one there we've already connected to this app okay and the app's on here click the scene that you've connected with your uh, lights and then you've got mc and mc so you've got two mcs okay now you can rename these if you press the three dots beside so you can rename them reset the name and firmware update and it looks like i have got a firmware update so uh I won't do that now. On here, I've got scene one. Now you can have scene one, scene two, scene three. You can have all sorts of scenes on, on this app, which makes it very clever. If you were to click onto that little circle there, what that does is indicate what light you're using. So I know I've got two lights being used and you can see it flashing on and off there, okay? Um, and also the backlight, you can see the backlight flashing on and off, okay? So I know that that, light there, the MC COD478 is my backlight, and the MC, MC C24 CC1 is my side light, my fill light. Now, I can, like I said, I can change the name, so if I'm set up like this, I could, I could actually go to uh, rename that as fill light, for example, and I can rename the back one as backlight. So, it go, you know, the more you've got, the more you probably want to organize it in that way. So I'm going to use this side light now, okay, this, this uh, side light for my sad, uh, the fill light. Now, if we go on to, we'll go right at the start. So we've got white on the app, we have white, and we can change the um, intensity. As you can see there, the intensity is changing, okay, um, from zero, all the way up into single increments of 1%, 2%, all the way up in one percentages. So that's really handy. So you can get a really fine tuned um, light onto your, uh, on, onto your subject or whatever you're doing. Um, the Kelvin is set at 6,500 here, but you can go all the way down to Kelvin 3,200. Now this is quite handy if you wanna um, put a Kelvin into your film or your video and you want to set the Kelvin correctly, uh, you can do that. I'm on auto white balance right now. So, you know, basically if I was to mess about with the Kelvin now, I'll be here forever. You can't see the light because I've hidden it behind to the uh, printer there. And actually that's quite a nice idea because you don't really want to see the light like that, do you, in your shot? It doesn't, doesn't look right, in my opinion. 
Um, so that's that. So getting back, um, let's get back to that light. If you want to not bother with the sliders, you can go to quarter, you can go to half, or you can go to full, and that will give you those areas there. So we're gonna to go to half. Um, and then of course you can do your Kelvin separately as well. You don't have to use a slider, so you can actually be more accurate with that if you wish. Um, so you can go to 3,200, 4,000, or 5,600. And then um, we can go across at the bottom here. So if you look at these um, these sections, you've got the top section there of white and all that, and the color and the effects and what have you. And just under that, for each section, you've got another section in, in within that section, if that makes sense. Um, so you go to source type and uh, intensity again. You can play about with that and the Kelvin again. Um, and you've got at the bottom day white, um, you've got horizon daylight, uh, you have X, X on, uh, Xeon, um, Xeon app as well, uh, natural white, daylight, um, HMI 60. So there's loads and loads and loads here. So these, and studio lights as well, look. So you can have tungsten, um, and th this light, I don't know whether you're noticing, but it's changing all the time. So it'll go to color, and we can change all the color spectrums that you want. Um, so let's just look at that. So we can change all the colors of the rainbow. There are so many different colors that you can use, look. So I'm turning it around and it's just changing all the time, going to different colors. So anyway, that, that's that. So you can have it to any color you like. Um, it has the H, the, the H value and the S value percentage there. You can go down to here and you can change different methods here on these settings here as well. Um, and then we can go over to uh, effects and what the effects does, this is quite clever as well. Um, I can have any effect, effect on the bottom here. All you do literally, let's start with, uh, let's go with that one. What's that, fireworks? There are lots of effects here. Um, we'll just quickly go through them. As you can see there, there are a lot of effects. Um, they just keep going and going and going. That's where we were. So so let's, let's start fireworks. You click onto fireworks. You can have the frequency. So we click onto fireworks. There you go, that's fireworks for you. And hopefully that'll come on in a second. And if you want to turn up the frequency, you can turn up the frequency and that will go a little bit quicker, hopefully. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's fireworks. <laughs> so anyway, you can go from fireworks to uh, paparazzi. There you go, paparazzi. Oh, I'm getting flashed out. Ooh. Yeah, lovely old job. And from paparazzi, you can go to uh, party mode. So there's party mode, lovely old job. So we can turn the frequency up to go with our music. So what, if, if you've got music on, you can actually go to the frequency of your music, basically. Um, you can also turn the saturation right up so you've got more colors in there. Light bulb, faulty light bulb, there you go, faulty light bulb. Anything gonna happen, there you go. And turn the frequency up, turn the Kelvin up. You can turn the Kelvin up or down on the frequency on that. Um, you can also go to HSI um, or CCT. HSI, select a color. So you can actually select a color if you wish to as well and go to say green um, or orange or red. Um, you can do what you like really on that and uh, go back uh, or you should, should Confirm, sorry, confirm, and they mm, select a color, red, confirm. There you go, done. So it's my little fat fingers, unfortunately, on this little phone. Um, and then you can go to uh, lightning, and lightning, there you go, there's lightning, and TV, and frequency, let's do the frequency. So that's TV apparently, 
So it's changing all different things. Now TV, you could, all these lights basically are designed so you can hide them behind things. So it looks like the light's coming from a source. Uh, so for example, if that is the TV and that's got that flickering, as you can see there, going from one thing to another, you won't want that showing in, in your shot. And then you've got pulsing, so you can have the frequency of pulsing. Let's have a look at that. So that's pulsing. And again, you can change the Kelvin on that as well, so you can have a very bright white light to it. So let's have a quick look at that. Yeah, so there you go, you've got very bright white there. Okay, and then you go to fire. So there's fire. So you can have a fire glowing there as well. Just to show you that one, there you go. Nice little glowy fire in, and put the intensity up. So there you go, just behind me here, you've got your fire going on, which is quite nice, nice ambient light going on. Um, and then we've got cop car. And the cop car is quite good. Now with cop car, you can, you can choose the flashes and, and colors that you want for your country. So that's quite unique in itself. So obviously this is red. Now I know with, with uh, us guys, we have got blue. Um, so we click on blue and then we click on f the flash. I think it's a, f is it a two cycle or a three cycle? I don't know. Does that look like a, a British cop car? <laughs> you tell me. Uh, and of course the intensity would be up. Now this would be quite cool um, if it was behind a window or something and you're filming a window or something like that. Um, that'd be pretty cool. Okay, so moving on to party. We've done party, I believe. Um, do the speed, saturation, there's party. Yeah, lovely old job. So uh, paparazzi will be done. So all of them, okay? So th they're all... Um, they're all fixtures and, and things that can you can do with these lights. So that's really impressive, don't you think? I think it is. And um, if you look at the back light, I mean, that's quite a decent light. It's not a bad light. So you, if you've got two or three, even four of them in your room, you can have all different kind of effects going on. Fixtures is, is the main bit. So when you go to fixtures, you've got your, your lights there, your two lights, and also all fixtures is both lights together. So if you click on all fixture, fixtures, you can uh, combine the two together, uh, or four or five. There you go, boys and girls. Thank you very much for watching. It has been a lovely old job.